Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and you're looking to have access to your Google files after you leave your district. Well, the good news is there's two different ways that you can do it, depending on what you're looking for. The first way is through a process called transfer, where you will literally transfer your files from your school account to a personal Gmail account. Now, the only thing you need to make this work is a valid personal Gmail account. And what's good to know about this is it's only going to transfer the contents of your Google Drive. That's it. A second way to do it that's a little bit more comprehensive is what's called takeout. Now, in this case, it's going to make an archive of your Google account. It pulls a lot more information. In addition to pulling all of the files in your Google Drive account, it's also going to pull your Google Calendar, any Chrome bookmarks, Google Keep, Google My Maps, YouTube, and lots of other things that you can find out more about at takeout.google.com. Now, in this case, you don't really need anything except to make the process happen, and it's going to create a downloadable zip file. Now, depending on which product you want to go with, which one fits your needs, you can flash forward in the video. If what you're looking for is the, the more simple transfer of just your Google Drive contents, go to that part of the video right there. If you're looking for more of that comprehensive pull, you want all that extra data when you leave, you're looking for the takeout option, which is gonna happen right around this point in the video. Now, the catch before you flash forward to one of those two times, is that both of these processes only pull the files that are in your drive, not in the shared with me space. So for example, if you created a project or wrote a paper using Google and Schoology, you're gonna need to go and find those files and either uh, go to shared with me or go to the file in the course and click the add to my drive icon, which hopefully I'm able to show in a small picture in picture here. Um, alternatively, you can access those files and select file and then make a copy. That way you know they'll be pulled over. You don't have to do that with every single assignment, maybe just the ones you really know you're gonna wanna have access to later. So with that, let's get on with the show and see how to start the process of transfer. So let's look at that first process transfer. Keep in mind, this is only going to transfer over the contents of your drive, nothing else about your Google account. And in order to make this work, you need a personal Gmail account that has enough space to bring in all those files. So as of the, the time of this recording, uh, personal Gmail accounts were, Google Drive accounts were limited to 15 gigs. So it may be best to go create a new account to make sure you have that full 15 gigs to transfer your files. But let's see how to do this. It starts by going to any Google site, Google tool, whatever the case may be. You're looking for in the top right hand corner that three by three grid or what they call the waffle. And when you click on the waffle, you'll see one of the options is account. And it's either gonna have your picture or your um, uh, initial, whatever is set to be your profile picture. You may have to scroll on this window to find it, but chances are it's gonna be right at the top. So click on account. This will take you to myaccount.google.com. And you'll notice one of the first options is to transfer your account. So we're gonna click on start transfer. Now, if you have already done this process, you may notice it, retain, it might retain your email address, but if not, simply put in your personal email address in this space. Uh, remember, you may wanna set up a brand new account to make this work well, and then click send code. That's gonna send an email to your, that particular Gmail account, which you can check either on a different device uh, or through another browser, whatever the case may be. Uh, and you'll notice you'll get an email from Google that with the subject line, verify your account. In that email will be a blue button that says get confirmation code. When you tap it, it'll take you to a website with your confirmation code that you simply enter back into this uh, text field on this web page and click verify. Once that's all set, I can see that my content is going to transfer from my school account to my personal account. I can tell it what I wanna transfer. You'll notice in our region, we do not support Gmail, so that's not an option. Uh, and then I just wanna click Start Transfer. At that point, you just need to wait, uh, and the files will be copied over to your um, personal account. 
once it's all done, I believe you'll get an email uh, that says the process is completed. Uh, we can go take a look. You can go to your personal account. You can go into the Google Drive account for that uh, particular account. And you'll notice what it's gonna create is a new folder titled with the email address you sent from, oh, oops, there it goes, uh, and th the date stamp of when the transfer happened. So you can certainly do this as many times as you want, and it's just gonna keep making a new folder each time. So you may need to delete the old folder, but in case something happens. So there you go. That is how to have the process work with transfer, where it only is going to transfer over the contents of your Google Drive. In the next segment, we'll look at takeout. So takeout is that more comprehensive pull of data where, you're, where you'll get a lot more of your Google account out if you want it. To make this process happen, start by logging into a device with your school account. And then once you're successfully logged in with your school account, go to the address takeout.google.com. From there, you'll be directed to this website where the first part is to select the data that you want to include. And again, here's the list of everything that it's going to pull. Uh, you may, may or may not need everything, but you know, when in doubt, leave it checked. If an item is checked, it will be included in the data. If it's unchecked, it will not be. So once you finish that, towards the bottom, you'll see a button that says Next Step. We'll go ahead and click on that to customize the archive format. Basically, how is this archive file going to get to you? The first part is the delivery method. You can either send a download link via email, um, which I prefer to do it this way. Uh, you can also add to your drive, or if you have access to Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box, you can send there. Again, I would suggest downloading the link via email. By doing that option, once this process is done, you can go to a, maybe your home device or a separate device, access that, access that email, and pull the archives down as you need them. You're not reliant on a cloud storage. The second option is the export type. Whether you wanna do just a one-time archive or schedule it, chances are at this point you're looking at a one-time archive, but you could set it up to happen uh, periodically. The file type is how the zip file will be opened. Um, zip files are the most common and probably easiest to deal with, but if you're familiar, you can go with the option of the TGZ file. But again, if you're not sure, go with the zip. The final setting is the archive size. You'll see there's one, two, four, 10, and 50 gigabytes. Basically what this says is when the copy of your Google account is made, it will make it into chunks that will be no larger than what you set here. So this could be really helpful if you're going to back up your archive onto an external hard drive and it's limited in space. Uh, you can set that file size so you know what it is. Once that's all set, uh, click on create archive and wait for an email uh, based on how we set it up. So the email will go to your school email address. That means in our region, you can access that via uh, the My Apps portal, the single sign-on, or through Office 365 with a Microsoft Outlook, Outlook email. Uh, and you'll notice that there's downloadable files within that email that you can then pull to your uh, an external hard drive or your computer and keep them for your own use. So there you have it, two different ways of saving your Google files for after you leave your district. I wish you the best of luck wherever your life travels take you, and thank you for watching.